Hey everyone! So I figured since I have the ability to scan and print myself, you might as well use that for a practical application. So I went to a hardware store and I picked up some different kinds of springs. And let's see if we can't make a bobblehead, shall we? So I have the three springs here. I have a 5 16 inch diameter spring, a 3 4 inch diameter, and a 23 32 inch diameter spring. I couldn't tell in the store through the packaging how much the spring actually could flex since they were all bundled together. So I just picked them all up so I can see how they are here. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a nice spring. We don't want it to stop too soon. We don't want it to dampen quickly because it's going to be a bobble head. We want the head to bobble pretty well. And as I flip these, we can tell that this middle one definitely dampens way too quickly. It's, it's a much stiffer spring and that's not going to be what we're looking for for a bobble head. The larger one has a very nice spring action, but I think that it's going to be too big. Um, I'm going to have to cut the springs anyways, but I don't think that it's going to have this same amount of flex if I have to cut it here to fit inside the head. So I think that we're, what we're actually going to go for is we're going to go for the 5 16 inch spring, and we're going to see how that goes. It's a pretty weak spring, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't expect the head to weigh too much because the plastic's pretty lightweight. But uh, we'll give it a try. So let me take one of my scans and design it for a bobblehead. So it turns out the making of video is about 13 minutes long. So if you're curious then how I turned my scan into the 3D object of the bobblehead, then you can click here. Otherwise, keep watching the video for the unveiling. And it's finished. So I have the spring here. I'm not even going to pull it off the build plate. Let's see if it fits. Huh? It fits okay. I'm going to have to do some cleanup for that. So, uh, let me pull these off the build plates and let's see if this bobblehead works. Okay, after a little bit of adjustments. We have a bobblehead. Let me zoom in a little bit. Of course, I can clean up the uh, support on it later, but I just wanted to check the bobblehead. And it works. I can clean up a little bit. I can, uh, next time when I make the model, I can drop it down a little bit more there and. That'll be fine. There we go. I cleaned up the supports. I definitely should have done that before putting on the spring, but eh, lessons learned. But there we go. First prototype on the how to make your own bobblehead. That turned out really, really well. Once I perfect my technique and, you know, do a couple more iterations of this, then I'll make a video on how to make your own. But for now, uh, now you know what to look forward to. This is, this is gonna be awesome. Don't you think this video is awesome? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.